Hey guys, Sifu Les Clements here, Black Dragon Kung Fu. Thanks for watching. So this video, I'm gonna talk about a famous technique in Wing Chun called Lin Wan Kien. Lin Wan Kien. So when you think about Wing Chun, it's easy for the first image to be this. Okay, bingo. That's what we're gonna talk about. This is Lin Wan Kien. When you see this in the movies, Don Yin, Donnie Yin, Ip Man, one, two, three, one, two, three, see? One, two, three generally is the training. Three is a very important number in Wing Chun. So when we train Lin Wan Kien in the Chong Kien Fist, I like to teach my students to stop on three because by the time you get to the third one, you're fully maximized and built up with the energy. And then we practice completely shutting it off, right? We wanna be able to produce voltage and then turn it off, on, off. Okay, our opponent swings to hit, misses, hits empty air, and then gets hit. Once the position is lined up, the voltage comes back on. Okay, the opponent swings back to block, the voltage turns off, then back on once the blow passes. Okay, so Lin Wan Kin is designed, like any other Wing Chun technique, to force the opponent to take an outside path. So you can pummel the center in addition with the legs getting under your opponent, which is crucial. However, the Lin Wan Kin it being practiced in threes can also be practiced for the burnout. Here's what I mean. I can practice on the dummy, one, two, three. Stopping on three, as I've mentioned, or I can go for the full burnout. Relax, the shoulders don't want to come up, the muscles don't want to get tense. Relax, seat your stance, here we go. Now, as I said, the hands are restricted from the bag in a way, unless you turn the elbows in just right. So if you want to actually hit the pad, remove the arms to work on the hardening, which is the next level. Here's what we do. We take the arms out. Okay. Now, one thing I gotta say with the Wing Chun punch, Chong Kin punch, when you bring the bottom three knuckles up, if you're learning Wing Chun, remember, it's very careful, very important to not jack those three knuckles up too soon. See this board? If you hit the board, for example, bottom three knuckles first, or bottom three knuckles, they all connect it first, then the upward motion comes with the torque of the body, okay? So remember that. Fist hits flat first, then they come up. This way we can avoid injury. Now that we have our pad um, available again, we this arm is long, so I want a seat so I have room. If I'm like this with my hips forward, I'm getting hit in the stomach. So I'm gonna create the space. All right, now I can strike, okay? Okay, see how that works? Sink the weight, project forward, sinking the weight. If you do not sink your weight when you punch and your opponent's good, he'll slide underneath you and then you'll really be in trouble because you can't sink, okay? That's, this is the goal of Wing Chun. The opponent is trying to get underneath you if he's good with Wing Chun or Chung Kin. He's trying to get up underneath you, break the base and stick. So you have nowhere to step because his foot is going there first every time. His or her foot, the individual using the Wing Chun system. Okay? So, Lin Wan Kin, practice one, two, three, stop. Shutting the energy on, turning it off. All right, one, two, three. All right, when you feel confident and on and off ability, then go for the burnout. See how long you can go, relax. Breathe deep. Just relax, loose. And the more you get everything centered down and relax the upper body, the longer you can go. Okay, you found this video helpful on Lin Wan Kin chain punching. Click the like button. Even better subscribe.
And by the way, we appreciate you all for Patreon. Doing really good. Thank you very much. All right. Have a good one. Sifu Les Clements out.